Okay, we're still online, yes? Yes? Yeah? I can listen to you very clear. Okay, so who's gonna answer if you have already a live project, guys? Where's Nahid? Oh, there you are. Hello, Nahid, now speak up. You don't have a live project, Nahid? Yeah. Whatever. Hable español. No hay problema. Este, este, where you want to go? Where you want to be? Oh. Voy a ir a la academia de policía. Hey, listen. What's, what is it? ¿Dónde vas? Ah, voy a la academia de policía. A la, la academia de policía después que se gradúe. Yes, sir. Speak loud. I know you're louder than that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Very good. Right. Yeah. Well, that can start. <laughs> Next question. Oh, yeah. well, Next question. <laughs> what classes do you take, and how many do you take in a day? You guys want to answer? Josh, Yo, Leonardo, you want to answer this question? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. 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 Yeah, I <laughs> okay, what's the next question, guys? All right, um, okay, I can make these questions on the rest of the parents. I don't know what that's Well, ask Do you like Marvel? Tomorrow? Yes, I mean, have you watched Endgame? Come, come, come in. What was the question again? Black Little Guys. Do you like Marvel comics? Oh, there you go. Now you hit a spot. I remember. If you like guys, who wants to answer that question? If you like uh, no, no. comics or Marvel. Doctor Strange is really right here. Can you stop spoiling Endgame? Who's your favorite superhero? Look at this camera here. Hey, Sarah, who's your favorite superhero down there? Hi. Sorry for the camera. Espanol? And then, 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 and <laughs> okay, hey. This should be yeah, a question to ask. He has a question to ask you, right? What is the question? No, no, do what you want to do. Is marijuana legal in Venezuela? You want to know if marijuana is legal in Venezuela? <laughs> no, it isn't. Okay. It's not safe. Sorry for you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's like it was. Come on, it's your time to ask people over the country things. ¿Cuál es la comida tradicional de Venezuela?
Come on, brunch over here. No. Yeah, yeah, come on. What is the comida tradicional de Venezuela? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have uh, many things. Is it Spanish or in English? Bueno, a ver, este, está la arepa, obviamente, el pabellón, el pabellón, que es carabota, está muy bien fichada, y arroz, y arroz. ¿Sabes lo que está bien fichada? No, no, no. Es que, es un poco de opinión. Es bueno, es bueno, es bueno. What's that, what's that, what's that in, in English? They want to know what is that in English. ¿Cuáles son tus favoritas actividades fuera de la escuela? ¿Cuáles son tus favoritas actividades fuera de la escuela? Bueno, a mí me gusta dibujar, me gusta bastante, eh, me gusta bailar y pues, leer. ¿Saben cantar? Okay, the, the, okay she, she said okay that the cost of living is extremely high in Venezuela. Okay, people that die in famine, okay, they don't have food, they don't have medicine, and if they find the medicine and the food, they don't have the money to buy it. People okay get there like five or seven or seven dollars, five or seven dollars monthly. That's the thing. Five or seven dollars monthly. And the okay, the things that they need to buy are extremely expensive, so they cannot be. And we are the country with more all the serves in the world, right? And we can live. Yeah, Venezuela, Venezuela is a rich country, but devastated by socialism and communism. We have the highest inflation rates in the world in all history. <laughs> We have the highest inflation rate in the world. Hey, you run out of questions or what? I have one. Okay. I have one. Yeah. Wait a minute. What What are your political views? What What? What are your political views? Political views. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I'm almost in my way. I don't pay attention to that. 
Yeah. Okay, she doesn't pay attention to politics, so she's not going to say much. I don't know how about you? No? Are you pro socialism or against socialism, for example? Oh, well, there is a word in Spanish like it's like uh, opositor. I'm not with socialism. I don't accept it at all since it be in the beginning. Just the The only thing that is doing is destroying this. Okay. Yeah, we are pro <laughs> Okay, Henry and Marlon, I would like you to talk. Oh, to the talk. is coming. Okay. Right. Yes, I would like you to talk a little bit about the situation in universities right now, man. The we are having right now, most universities okay, abandoned by the teachers and by the students. Uh, they would like to know about that, please. Okay. Um, well, what can I say, guys? Um, I was a university professor for 21 years, and uh, I had no choice but to quit my job uh, this year uh, because the, the, the situation was just uh, impossible to uh, overcome, okay? We were left without resources of any kind, a classroom like the one you are in is impossible to have for us now, okay? Imagine that that classroom where you are in right now were looted, that all the resources that you have there were stolen, all the windows broken, all the doors broken. Hey, 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 uh, hey, uh, hey you're stepping on my coin thing! Sorry. That's what, what it looks like for us, okay? So we don't have classrooms. Because everything has been stolen by people who just get in and get out without any uh, problem. Because the authority doesn't do anything. And then we teachers have a very low salary. So it makes it really hard for you to work, to go to work. I cannot afford to have a car. I cannot afford to get on the bus. Taxi. And uh, resources, they, they are just impossible. I used to teach literature and I couldn't afford to buy books or to demand from my students to buy books or make copies from books. So that makes it really hard for you to teach because you don't have the basic, you know, uh, resources. Um, so that's, that's how bad it was for us. The university, the campus that is very unsafe. Uh, robbers and uh, thieves, they come and go. They have weapons and you have nothing and there's no police that could help you. So it's really, for me, it was just impossible to continue teaching. It's too late to ask. Uh, hi, I'm Chimano Gonzalez. Um, I've been teaching 13 years old. Uh, sorry, 13 years uh, from yeah, now. I think uh, the university, we are um, almost destroyed. Yeah, there's no other way to support it because um, the university, uh, when I was a student, we had 18,000 students, but now it has less than 500 because it's almost impossible uh, for students, also for teachers, to go to the university. We have to work three miles, maybe more. Some people have to work 10 miles to get to the university because the salary is already low and the, the students don't have uh, jobs because they cannot find jobs here and they have no money to pay buses, not even buses. So, the situation is very hard in Venezuela. The situation is very complex and they want to blame is the socialism, the communism project that uh, is ruling this country. Thank you. Any other questions? Anyone has another question over there? Santiago? That's a good question. Pregunta <laughs> Santiago. Más cerca. Deje pienso una. Ajá, ya va a pensar una pregunta. Ándale, Santiago. Está 
a qué tal son los maestros allá en Venezuela o digamos qué nivel académico tienen. Hay algunos profesores que tengo que de verdad tienen, este, tienen un doctorado y todo, son un profesor de matemática, es ingeniero y graduado de ingeniería, pero en cuanto al tema de cómo somos nosotros, o el nivel académico que tienen al darnos nuestras clases, es bueno, hay algunos que faltan debido a la situación y algunos son licenciados, sí. En mi colegio son tienen maestrías. Y hay uno que hay uno que sabe lo que están diciendo y hay otros como mi profesora de física que ellos están, por ejemplo, se están explicando el primer caso y empiezan, que caso comienza con S, después dicen que no, que con la C y no me <risa> Uh, Henry, can you please be so kind and explain today what, what a, your daughter wanted to say in English, please? Okay, well, she was, well I think that she didn't translate that. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's very good teachers and bad teachers in my school. For example, my physics teacher, she, uh, <laughs> she can't explain anything. You can't understand what she wants to say. If she's teaching you how to write house, she starts saying, telling you that it starts with the S. And then, no, no, it starts with the O. No, with the H. And, and you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much time we have. It's uh, 9.54 right now, so we have probably like, like three minutes. Three minutes, right. Yeah, we have like three minutes to finish the activity, okay? Henry and Marlon and, and the girls. The camera is here, dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are about to end the activity. We have like three minutes. Can you please say something to them? Okay, before Any we say remarks? Bye. Closing okay. remarks? Si tuvieran la, si tuvieran la opción de ir a cualquier parte del mundo, ¿dónde se va? Iceland. 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 Iceland.
enough for her to finish it. So actually, I was just like, yeah, what I would like, thank you, Smooth Morning. You're interested and thank you for your time for trying to listen to this. Thank you. 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 Thank